Hey, welcome back, Rangers. Coming to you from a Balinese paradise today. Uh, incidentally, if you are new here to the show, uh, hit subscribe on the new channel if you want to keep up to date. We've been doing this show for about 13, I think we're in our 13th year. And uh, during that time, uh, we've helped a lot of people. So if you find it helpful, please share, please subscribe. Uh, you, if you're a blogger, you can head across to bloggersseo.com where uh, we uh, run a Bloggers SEO support group. Uh, SEO for bloggers. So, what I want to talk to you about this week is quality. Uh, in Feb 7, there was an update that looks like it was quality, definitely. And also on March 9, there was an update, and both look, seem to be quality related. Um, on Feb 7, we had a client drop about, oh, from about page one somewhere for one of their main key phrases down to the bottom of page two. Now, we fixed that and we got the, the rankings back onto page one, and that was simply by uh, first of all, read, uh, we moved uh, a read more tag on their um, or link on their homepage, and read more. In case you're not familiar with it, it's been used by SEOs for years. And um, actually, Brett uh, Tabke from PubCon uh, announced so we had a, a question on Facebook the other day where he said, uh, "What's what's the consensus on the read more tab?" And I said, I'm, I'm falling in the camp of now remove it. Because on this one site, this homepage, we removed the read more tab, and then I had a page of text, right? So that page of text was then pushing all our uh, the premium uh, links on the site down. So basically we had all our products beneath the fold, which is what we want uh, people to find us for, was our products on this particular site. So when we removed, simply removed the read more tab, nothing happened. Okay, the rankings stayed the same. So I think Google is now ignoring that because what I did then was I removed half the copy on the page uh, and it took us up a few spots. It took us up to the sort of like the top of page two. And then I removed even more copy so that we could get the products even higher on the page above the fold. And that's when all the rankings came back. And then I removed all the copy and it got a little bit higher. It's counterintuitive, I know, but there you go. And so that was the Feb 7 update. Now the Feb, um, the, sorry, the March 9 update, which we've been talking about the last couple of weeks, a lot of people are trying different things or investigating different things. Um, it does seem to have hurt uh, people who are using uh, or building sites purely for affiliate linking. And Unfortunately, uh, we, we don't know whether it was di designed specifically for that, but one of the reasons that's happened is because it, the content is a quality issue. If the content is purely being written uh, to get people to click on an affiliate link, chances are it's not going to be uh, great content. Unfortunately, however, even sites that had great content and weren't doing affiliate linking also got hit by this. So it is a wider quality issue. And what we're looking at now is uh, basically making copy read better. Um, in, in one case, someone on um, uh, Hard Boiled Body, uh, they had an excellent article on the Wim Hof Method, which I never even knew about, but um, it was a very interesting article. And I thought, that's a good article, but it was littered with um, affiliate links. And these affiliate links were... Uh, kind of deceptive because they were just in the copy and there was no reference to oh I'm an affiliate um, or anything like that uh, so what I got that person to do and sorry I've forgotten your name I said look just for, for the first instance remove just your affiliate links and they did that and the rankings uh, jumped by 50 spots uh, I've then said to them okay here's something else to try now is go and reduce the number of instances of your main key phrase on that page because they had a lot and it was in a lot of headings and, and it was it was obvious it was there to to rank higher uh, at the same time the reason i suggested that is because i've been working on something on our own site as well and we're about to uh, launch a new site and uh, we're going through all the cleanup session of you know culling content basically for better rankings which incidentally uh i possibly will be uh talking well i will be talking about that but possibly another topic as well at uh, pubcon this year so stay stay tuned for more details about that's in las vegas 
And uh, so I went and removed instances on one of my own pages and I jumped, first of all, one spot on the front page. I'm not going to tell you what the phrase is, you can work it out. I jumped one, one spot on the front page and then I did a, uh, I removed a, a few more key phrases, it went a bit higher. And then I moved a, a, even a few more key phrases and then it dropped. <laughs> it dropped like a stone. And, and I don't mind, it's an SEO phrase and I don't mind because SEO phrases typically for us, uh, unless they're long tail, they don't bring in the right sort of traffic. They bring in um, pr very price sensitive or startup type customers. So, yeah, people looking for SEO and that sort of stuff. And uh, and I broke it. And it reminded me uh, of an article that uh, Bill Slawski from SEO by the Sea did years ago. I think it was back in 2009 even, maybe 2000. Uh, about a patent that Google had um, put out there uh, that basically was designed to mess with SEOs. So it would, the patent basically said that uh, drop a site or drop a ranking if uh, uh, people were trying to make changes in the hope of ranking higher. It's a really, it was a really interesting patent and a really interesting story. So I was a little bit paranoid about that. Um, I don't think it was that why we dropped. I actually think why we dropped was actually a hosting issue. But what it showed to me that by removing um, key phrases that might have been a little bit too heavy handed, a little bit over the top, um, you would rank higher. Okay, so that's why I'm looking at how can I cull content now? How can I cut down and get to the point quicker and still have a great article and, and think even less about SEO? I know it's counterintuitive, but that's what we're working on at the moment. So if you have this March 9 problem, I just wanted to share that with you um, because we have seen some rankings uh, come back and the ones that have come back have tended to be the long tail phrases, not the short tail, not the high, more competitive phrases, uh, not the more, the, uh, more high, highly contested phrases. So what we're looking at now is, well, we know that if we remove uh, affiliate links off a page, you go up because the page is no longer trying to just, you know, get advertising uh, click-throughs. Uh, so if you're ha do you have the problem, have a look at those two things. If you're an affiliate site, remove your affiliate links. If you're not an affiliate site, and this is just a test, obviously. You don't want to remove all your affiliate links and lose all your money. This is just a test, right? So we can go and put it back later, but once we've worked that that is part of the issue, then we can work out what's next. And the other thing is reduce the instances of your key phrase. What I, what I did on, on uh, my own page was that I went, I went through and I said, how can I remove every instance of the key phrase and it still read well. So I basically went through, removed a whole bunch of key phrases, and I left the ones there uh, that helped make the sentence make sense. So for instance, yeah, I wasn't going to, um, yeah, if, if I was explaining that thing and there was no other synonym, I had to use that word, I would use that word, okay? So that's basically what I'm saying. Uh, have a go at that, just try it. What The way I do it is, uh, first of all, go and check how I'm ranking, making sure that uh, I've got the town that I'm in, uh, so I use a VPN no matter where I am, uh, to, to check uh, Melbourne rankings. And I do it incognito as well. And I find that if you use a VPN on Chrome incognito, um, Chrome will think you're in that in that city. Sometimes it doesn't if you just uh, don't do it incognito. Uh, check where you are incognito and where you're ranking for that phrase. Go and make the changes to the page. Fetch the page. Go back and have a look and see where you rank now. Now, it's for some sites and for some pages, it may take a little longer uh, to, to see a change in ranking. So for instance, I've just done one this morning and it hasn't changed, but it hasn't picked up the new page title yet, hasn't picked up the new description tag yet, uh, and the cache hasn't updated yet either. So usually what happens, the cache will update, you'll see it in the Google cache, and then finally uh, the SERPs will actually update and you'll see the change page or, or whatever, uh, the changes will take effect. And so for the one this morning, it, the rankings haven't changed. New, no new page title has uh, been picked up. So I'll leave that one uh, just to, to rest overnight and come back in the morning and have a look. Hopefully that's helpful and we'll see you next week. And gosh, this is hard. See you again. Bye.